right in the middle. Uh, right in the middle. Come on, I need you to clap your hands like this. There you go, you. Good. I got you. There you go. Don't take this man.
St. John's chapter 3, starting at the 12th verse. Amen, somebody. Amen. Yeah, I said if you have it, that you would stand. Amen. 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 Twelve, three. I mean, chapter three, verse twelve, and it reads: If I had told you earthly things, and you believe not, how shall you believe if I tell you of heavenly things? And no man has ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the, the Son of Man, which is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up his serpent in the wilderness, even so much the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, tell somebody shall, not perish, but have ever eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Yeah. For God sent his son into the world to condemn the world. Not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world who him might be saved. He that had believed on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten son. Amen. You may be seated. We're going to let Jarvis Amen We're going to let Jarvis bring us a, a selection And after Jarvis finishes the selection We're going to let him also introduce The speaker of tonight Put your hands together for Brother Jarvis I'm going to go ahead and introduce Minister Moore here before I sing I've been on Minister Moorhead for four years now. I started singing in two, of December, I mean November of 2011. Working with him is awesome. I can tell you that much. He could be a great mentor, a great minister, whatever you need. He's there for you. I tell you that he loves to preach because when we at home just playing around, he sometimes gets serious with us. Really start preaching. But we, his our pastor here over to a mission for America and even for gospel church. Can we give our hands up? Our pastor. But I can do the songs to others to minister to Jerome Morehead. Can you say that? Hi, love. I'm not going to be able to 
few of us on tonight, but can we just worship him before the speaker comes? Can everybody just stand up on your feet and just worship God? Oh, Jesus went to Calvary to save the rich like you and me.
God, for this worship service, God. But thank you, God, for the second night of this revival, God. We ask you to move in this place like never before, God. Have thine own way in the name of Jesus. Lord, open up the ears of your people. Open up their heart, God. Use me in a mighty way in the name of Jesus. I declare right now, I speak healing in this place, God. I speak deliverance in this place, God. I speak salvation in this place, God. Lord, just move, God. Let somebody hear about this revival, God. And want to come in and hear your word and drink after you and eat after you, God. And sit at your table, God. God, we give you honor, God. Move your own by the way, God. You do the teaching and the preaching, God. Lord, I'm just asking you to have thine own way. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, I so pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. If you got your Bibles, would you go on me to Colossians, the third chapter? Amen. I would like to honor um, the bishop and pastor of this house, Bishop Ed LeGroy. Y'all give Pastor Ed LeGroy a hand. Amen. Y'all can do that. That's the founder of the house. Amen. To my very own old district overseer, Lydia Mitchell. Y'all give her a hand. Amen. To Minister Mary Smith, thank you so much. And to my friends, they always got my back. It's the Jimmy Gilstrap. It's the Jimmy. Y'all give them a hand, David. Came a video for me. I just want to recognize him. Amen. If you got it, if you got it, um, I said Colossians the third chapter. Amen. Amen. And we're gonna start. And we're gonna ask you. You can stand or you can be seated, whichever one you choose to do. If if then you were raised with Christ. Seek those things which are above, where Christ is, sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth, for you died and your life is, uh, is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also, you also will appear with him in glory. Therefore, put to death your memories, which are on the earth, fornicating our cleanliness, Passion, even desire, covenant, which is adultery. Because of these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience. And which you yourself once walked when you lived in them. But now you yourself are to put off all these. Anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, and filth language out of your mouth. Do not lie to one another. Since you have put off the old man with his deeds. And put on the new man who is renewed in knowledge according to the image of him who, rec who created him. Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcised nor uncircumcised, barbarian, scathing, slave nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. We're going to use for a thought or something tonight, putting off the old man, walking into our new. Come on, tell somebody, say, neighbor, putting off our old man and walking in our new, in our new man. Amen. Come on and put your hands together and give God some praise. Come on, let's make some noise in here in this place. Amen. As I begin to read this, it says right here in this first verse, if then ye were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Set your minds on the things above, not on the things of the earth. Can I get a witness? In this scripture, we find many different types of things where we're going to come in contact with life. Can I get a witness? We find in our life that we do some things that we know that's not of God. Am I right about it? See, we're seeing that we have come short of his glory, but that lets you know that there is no perfect Christian. Am I right about it? See, we got to go through things in order for God to help us. In order for to be on this journey, we go through help, we go through trials, we go through tribulations in our life, but we got to learn to put our faith and our trust in God. We got to set our minds not on worldly things. Worldly things are sometimes in our life we feel like that we're supposed to go partying and we're supposed to talk nasty and do types of things knowing that we're not supposed to. Can I get a witness? We're putting on the old man. All things have passed away and the new things have become new. Can I get a witness? Sometimes we have to listen to the voice of God at the same time the devil is in one ear but God is in another. Can I get a witness? 
this. The devil telling you, come on, man, you, you can go out there in a club, you can go out there and have unprotected sex, you can go out there and do this and that. But I came to tell you that God sees and he knows everything. Can I get a witness? We got to put off the old man. Sometimes in our life we find that we come up against wicked people. Can I get a witness? We come against people that's going to try to move us away from being in God. Can I get a witness? Sometimes we we fail to, to do what God has us to do. Can I get a witness? We don't want to hear what the pastor say, uh, what the elders say, uh, what the bishop say. Am I right about it? We sometimes say the wrong thing. Can I get a witness? Sometimes we cuss and do all kinds of types of things, but it's time to take off the old. Am I right about it? We find in this word it says, Therefore put to death your members which are on the earth for the candidate. Fornication, our cleanliness, passion, even desire. How many know that we have some evil thoughts sometimes? Amen. People can make you mad, it's fine. Can I hear the witness? Amen. You sometimes just want to hurt them. Just, I just want to, you know. But, but, but with you being in God, you got to know how to, you, you got to know how to walk in the image because you are created in his image. Can I get a witness? Uh -huh. We sometimes, we fight with life. We fight with the enemy. We have to tell our devil to flee. We have to tell him to get back out of our way. We don't need you, devil. We don't need you in our life. Can I get a witness? Uh -huh. Sometimes we go through heartaches and we go through child. Like being a man or a woman of God, we have needs, we have desires, we have all kinds of things, but we got to learn to put our trust in God. Can I get a witness? Uh, every day not going to be Sunday. Can I get a witness in here? It's, it's, it's sometimes we get hard and we wonder why, Lord, I just don't know. I'm trying to do the best I can. I, I know that I'm supposed to be saved. I know I'm supposed to be a Christian. I know I'm supposed to be a man of God. And sometimes we don't listen to the voice of God. Am I right about it? How many know that sometimes in our life we forget who we are in God? We, we, we sometimes, we got our little ways and I was told that I'm a stubborn person sometimes. Yes, I can be and I'm trying to pray that away. Amen. Amen. Some people can tell you what to do like your elders, they tell you you need to come here and go there and you don't want to go but God said you need to go. If, it's, if the leader told you to go, you need to go. Can I get a witness? If he tells you, if you just listen to the voice of God in your life, can I get a witness? He tells you which way to turn. He tells you whether to go to the left or to the right or just stay in the middle of the road because you're going to have trials. You're going to have temptations. We be tempted and tried in our life every day. Can I get a witness? When you're looking at a young man, I've never been on drugs, but I, I know some people that have, but it seems like sometimes you have to try to pray with them and try to encourage them. You don't need to do that, man or woman of God. God has a purpose for you. God has a plan for you. And sometimes they're like, I just don't know. I don't know which way to turn, but I come to let you know that God will direct our path. Can I get a witness? According to his riches and glory. Sometimes we strive for greater. Sometimes we get weak, but God will make us strong. Can I get a witness? How many of us we get weak in our mind? We get weak in our mind. We, we turn around and do things that we know that we're not of God. We sometimes feel like I've never been to a club, but I got some people in that club and they do all types of things. But I come to tell you tonight, it's time to take off the old and put on the new. It's time to live like you're supposed to live. It's time to follow God's command. It's time to listen to His voice. Am I right about it? It's time to pull off the old man. Can I get a witness in here? Say yes. When you come in God, it says right in the 12th verse, Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercy, Amen. kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering, yes. bears one, one another and forgiving one another. Yes, How many know that God love and his mercy is true? Yes. We know that God loves and mercy is true because he woke us up. Started us on our way, gave us life, gave us help and strength. Because he did that, you should repay him. You should, in order to get a blessing, you should know that God's mercy is there. You got to learn how to treat people right. You got to learn how to talk to them. Don't try to fight them. Don't try to cuss them out and blow them and call them everything but a child of God. Am I right about it? Sometimes our tongue can be... 
be so evil that we sometimes just don't know what we're saying, but we got to learn how to put on the new man. Am I right about it? Is there anybody that want to put on the new man? We want to be joyful in God. I'm a happy soldier. I, I can tell you that I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. And I'm going to walk upright. I'm not going to let the enemy stand. Can I get a witness out here? I'm not going to let the devil destroy me. Can I get a witness? I'm going to keep on walking for Jesus. I'm going to keep on talking with Jesus. I'm going to be so joyful because I know that the joy of the Lord is my strength. Just so I said, the joy of the Lord is your strength. There is joy in times of sorrow. There is hope for tomorrow. We got to put on the new. Is there anybody here that wants Just to give God it all. They got to learn 
yourself, even in ministry, even in normal life. Can I get a witness? Sometimes we want to go out and hang with our friends. They might go dancing. They might go, you know, just to a little clean party sometime. But we always can't go because we know that we have the anointing on our lives. Back, back in the day, back in school, when I was in school when I was a young guy, I would want to go out and do the things that some of my friends do or some of my classmates do. But I knew that that wasn't my time, that wasn't my calling, that wasn't what God want me to do. Yeah. Some of them used to go out clubbing, I, I can say that they ain't never been to the club and don't plan on going, can I get a witness? Yeah. So much is going on around us, so many young folks, is, well not even, not just young people, many older people is getting killed, shot up and everything, but we just got to know that no weapon that is formed against us that it won't prosper, it won't work. We just got to learn to stay prayed up in our life. We got to learn how to press towards the Lord of the higher calling. I, yeah, times get perilous, times get critical, and we just don't understand why. We, we wonder why, but God is saying that it's time for you to surrender. It's time for you to get back to praying. It's time to get back to fasting. It's time to do the will of God and not yourself. It's time to put on self and put on the whole heart, the whole armor of God. It's time to be real for God. And I am a lot about it. And being a gospel 
carefully any and everybody in my right about it. You got people that they'll sit outside and do the things that they know that we're not supposed to do. Smoke on the church ground, drink on the church ground. It's time out for that. It's time to get real for God. I've learned that I was taught when you even go out to minister or when you go out to sing, it's time to get real for God. People, it's time to pray in church. If you look around sometimes, we, we wonder why folks don't come to some of these gospel saints. I'm a gospel saint, God. No. Some of these gospel saints because they're not to a church no more. They all for the streets. Can I get a witness? They don't want to see people go forward. I don't know why I'm going this way. They don't want to see people minister. They want you to jump and scream and holler and then go outside and party all night long. I come and tell you that it's time out for party. Can I get a witness? It's time to get real for God. It's time to say God on your knees and just pray to the Lord. Am I right about it? It's time to give God your whole heart. It's time to give your whole if we don't sing, sing. But at the same time, minister to the people. It might not be a lot of people here tonight, but it doesn't matter what the crowd is. See, God knew who he wanted to be here. But I came to tell you tonight that when we do in our ministry, that when we sing and when we even stand up here behind the pulpit, because that's the head, can I get a witness? We got to learn how to witness to God. It's, it's time to go back and pull the out from the streets in my life. I wish I had some old saints that don't mind giving God praise. It's time to be real for God. How many real saints do we have in here? See, God is looking for some soldiers now. Can I get a witness out of here? God is looking for some real soldiers. Me and, me and my group, me and my choir, we had had a meeting the other night and we was talking, we were saying that it's time to start ministering instead of just, you know, Doing some of the things that the people, some of the people that are around, I'm not talking about everybody, because everybody, some people might be saved, some people may not be. But it's time to come out of self and start really going forth with God. We're talking about it's time to change the style of music. We try to keep up with time. We're, we're not a per, we're not people that impress nobody, because I don't try to impress nobody. If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it out of the will of God. It's time to take off the old man or right about it. So even in ministry, sometimes we walk along on this journey and we wonder why. I know being a leader and being a pastor, because I watch my pastor all the time. She don't think I'll be watching her, but I really do. Because I follow her leadership. I follow her commands. I, if she tell me to go and she tell me not to go, I'm going to do. Because it's better, it's better that way because in life, you never know what God got for you. You never know what God had planned for, for you, but you got to follow his desires. Am I right about it? Anybody know that you got to follow the commandments? We, we sometimes we stray away and we want to go this way and we want to go that way, but we got to stay in the race. Can I get a witness? The race isn't given to the swift, but it's given to the strong. Can I get a witness? It, it's given to the one that endures to the end. How many of you that want to endure to the end? Can I get a witness? We have a lot of hardships. We have a lot of trials. We have a lot of heartaches, but we sometimes cry. Can I get a witness? Sometimes I have to lay awake at night and just cry, just pray to the Lord. I find myself in tears all the time, Lord. These past couple of months, I find myself just laying there, just tears just falling down my face. I'll I, I, I be like, Lord, why am I crying? Why am I crying? And I begin to listen to his voice. He's telling me that I am the way, that I am the truth, I am the life. I got your back. People, everybody ain't meant for you. Everybody ain't meant to go with you. Even when you're walking, even when you're talking, even when you're praying, it's time to hold on a little while longer. Back to what I was saying about my pastor. Pastor have always taught us that when you've been in ministry, stay humble. Am I right? We got to stay humble in ministry. Because we think we got to be, oh, I'm this and I'm that. My name is all over all flyers and all over Facebook and all over the internet. And I'm this and I'm that. I'm a big bishop and I'm a big pastor. I'm a big elder. I'm a big evangelist and a big minister. But do you look at that? It's not, that's, that's not what it's about. Can I get a witness? It's about Jesus. It's about spreading the gospel all across the world, all across the nation. It's about ministering to the 
you out. I've learned a lot that when you come into the, when you know that you got the anointing on your life, when you know, when you know that you're in God's will, you're going to have some things that's going to come up your way in your life, and that's going to try to block you. They gonna, you got people that's gonna pray against you, right, minister? You gonna have people that's gonna talk, call you everything but a child of God. I learned how to tune them out. I, you know, I, I, I learned trusting in God. I don't have to worry about what you say about me or not. Am I right about it? I have a friend. They have his name all over everything. But I talk to him sometimes and tell him, just stay prayed up. Watch who you be around. Learn how to put your trust and faith in God. Am I right about it? We got to learn how to put our faith and trust in God and not in man. But I hope that I encourage you. I just want you to know that you got to put off the old man and learn how to walk in your new. That said, take off your old man. We got to take off those things that are not like God. Am I right? We got to take off filthiness. We got to take off those things. We got to take off those old garments so we can put on our new garments. Uh, yes, sir. I'm looking for that day when Jesus comes. We got a long white robe. 